Hi, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to create and plan your ad creative specifically for Facebook. So this process does apply to other platforms if you're doing YouTube advertising, if you're doing TikTok, if you're doing LinkedIn, but specifically we're gonna be talking about Facebook, um, how to do some research, some competitive research, um, how to actually plan your ad creatives based on different concepts and different types of creatives that we've seen work very, very well. And we're also gonna talk about some tools that you can use and some platforms and some methods that you can actually um, leverage to gather more content so that you can have a consistent supply of creatives because across the clients that we work with, we've seen that they create is one of the biggest levers that we can pull to improve performance. So if ads are below the target CPA, if we want to actually improve that cost per acquisition, be that for leads or for sales, one of the best ways that we can improve that is by refreshing the creatives and testing different concepts through creative testing. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. So the first step is we want to do some market research. So we want to see what our competitors are doing online. Specifically, we want to leverage the Facebook ad library. That's one of the best methods to do this. So we can actually see what ads our competitors are running. So we can see what we like, what we don't like. If the ads have been running for a very long time, it's a good indication that perhaps they're performing quite well. So we can, again, pull ideas from this. And whenever we have a new client, that's one of the first things we do. We look at what are their competitors currently doing and what are the big players in that market space also doing as well. Because what we don't want to do is just come up with a bunch of random ideas that we think are good but are not backed by any sort of research so it's really important to kind of get a landscape of what is and isn't running in the marketplace at the moment for that specific industry or for your product or brand and then from there you can start to come up with your own ideas your own variations and also take inspiration from the competitors that are out there currently so the first step is you want to go to the facebook ad library so if you just go to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash library it's going to take you to this page you can select the country that you want to market in um, you can choose any specific uh, categories i'm just going to pick all ads and then you can either search for a specific company or you can search for a keyword so for example you could search for protein powder and that is going to bring up ads related to protein powder okay so you can start to see and this is how you can discover some new companies that are perhaps uh, running some nice advertisements like this so we can have a look we can see what the competitors are doing so you can see a bunch of different campaigns a lot of carousel ads here now again some of these are going to be advertisers who are not really that experienced maybe don't have that much uh, running in terms of campaigns so what you could do is you could take one of these you could click view ads and you can see how many campaigns they're running so they're running six currently now it's not always an indication that you know just because they're running two or three doesn't mean they're not working extremely well for some of our clients we only have one or two main campaigns running but we're able to spend a lot through them however typically if they've got a lot more running they are typically spending more okay in most cases and again you can just kind of get an idea of what is working what isn't based on how long the campaigns have been running for and again not everyone manages that ads in the same way not everyone knows if their campaigns are working well we speak to companies all the time where they say we don't even know if our ads are working so it's like okay interesting um but what you want to do is you want to have a look and see, okay, look, these have been running since the 24th of February. It's the 25th of February, so I'm filming this video. This isn't a great indication as to whether or not these campaigns are working. They've just been launched, so I'm not going to really take much stock in that, okay? But it's just good to know and good to get some ideas. Now, the other way to do it is to actually search for a specific brand. So let's say we're a lead generation company, and let's just say we're looking at some type of insurance. Let's look at Aviva. We can actually search up for the company, click on it. And again, we can start to look at the ads that they're running. So they're running 190 different ads. Okay, so again, we can see they're putting a lot of budget behind this and we can start to get some ideas. So we can see some consistency here. They're running a lot of these image-based ads. Okay, and they're sort of marketing here. We've got this Unpuzzle Your Finances, quite interesting. We've got a video. This is a very vertical video, probably for stories, placements, things like that. So we can have a look and we can see kind of what's working, what isn't. Well, we can't see the results, but we can get an idea of that, okay? So when I say what's working, what isn't, it's more kind of looking at what we like, what we don't like, and then using that indication of how long the campaign's been running as a bit of a guideline. We're just getting a feel for it. Ultimately, there's no way of knowing. You know, we can't see the results behind the scenes, and we don't know what their KPIs are. Maybe for this company, they're able to spend a lot more per lead because they're a bigger company versus a smaller brand might need to be a lot more efficient. So just to get a flavor of what's out there. What I look for is trends. So I like to see if they're running a lot of the same type of creative. That is quite helpful because I know, okay, if they're running you know, 20 different campaigns, all with the same creative, it's probably a winning creative typically. So I go through here, get some inspiration, see the type of content that they're running. So they're basically running image ads and they're running animated or like motion graphic style campaigns as well through video. They're not doing any like piece to cameras where there's someone talking about the insurance or talking about stuff like that. There's none of that. It's all motion graphics and or just static images essentially. Obviously, some companies like this are going to have a large budget for their ad creative. So you'll be able to look at them and say, okay, look, there's quite a lot going on here. 
this is quite a complicated ad to recreate if you look at the sort of animation and graphics that are happening with the car there that's probably not for a smaller company something that is applicable and something that can be done uh, depending on your ad budget but it doesn't necessarily need to be so it's not about copying these exactly it's about just getting an idea of the way that they're doing it so i think that sums up roughly uh, my approach to the facebook ad library i would just go through and look at a bunch of different competitors and see what they're doing the types of creatives and that can give me an idea for the sort of style that i might want to start creating or getting our graphic designer to start creating ads for essentially the next step is to plan your ads by concept so what do i mean by this well a concept solves for a particular problem and it's a certain angle in terms of the marketing messaging so it doesn't really matter whether it's a, a video or an image it's not about like running okay just a short video and that's going to be we're going to do loads and loads of short videos that's not what i mean by a concept that's like a format what i mean by a concept is something that is going to an advertising angle that's going to produce a result so let's take life insurance okay there's a few reasons why someone may pull the trigger and actually uh, take out a life insurance policy or at least inquire about life insurance one could be they're a recent parent another could be maybe a life event has happened to them and they've realized okay perhaps i need life insurance maybe they have inherited some money something like that okay so there's gonna be a whole host of different reasons why someone may or may not decide now is the right time to take out a life insurance policy maybe there is an offer on maybe your company offers some sort of gift card or some sort of incentive to actually take out a policy now versus later so there's these different concepts now what you would do is you would create some um, ad creatives that solve for that problem so you could have a whole batch of ad creatives that talk about if they're a recent parent it could talk about why life insurance is important and it could call out the fact that they're a recent parent and that could be one ad creative that you could run you could then have a second batch of ad creatives that maybe solve for a different reason we could do one based on price we could do one based on age we could do one based on some sort of other reason why they're going to want to pull the trigger and do that right now so it doesn't really matter what your brand offers there's going to be different hooks and different types of content that is going to resonate with them so when i see an ad online there's certain things that will make me respond based on who i am as a person based on everything that's gone on in my life up to this point and based on how aware i am of the product and the solution and it's going to be the exact same with every other human. So what you want to do is you want to categorize what are the biggest sort of reasons why someone is going to buy my product and also what are the biggest objections. So maybe for a lot of people, it's the price of life insurance. So we could do a whole ad creative concept based on how price doesn't need to be a problem, how it's not super expensive. You could look at all these different reasons and you could then solve for them with your ad creative. So the messaging, the text on the ad creative, any voiceovers on the videos, anything like that will be all geared towards solving for that specific problem. So by now you should have a list of ad concepts that you want to start testing. But just to give you some additional examples of ad concepts, let's say you've got a product business. So pricing could be one, um, quality could be another one. You could do unboxings, uh, you could do testimonials, you could do anything that shows the durability and the lifespan of the product in comparison to your competitors perhaps. Essentially, you just wanna create different concepts that are going to solve for certain problems, handle certain objections and get people interested. Now it comes down to actually creating the ad creative. So how do we actually make this into a reality? What tools do you use? What platforms do you leverage? So in our own agency, we have a full-time graphic designer who will actually go away, create all the ad creatives for our clients. And that works extremely well because we can consistently line up new ad creatives, be that video or images. Our clients just send us the raw footage. We edit it for them in the formats that we need, in the styles that we need, and we then uh, leverage that across the campaigns that we're running if you're doing this yourself there's a few different tools so if you're very familiar with the adobe suite there's a slightly more advanced set of programs so photoshop premiere pro after effects these can all be tools that you use if you're familiar with this if you have absolutely never used them before i wouldn't necessarily recommend teaching yourself and learning the full adobe suite although it is a very valuable skill it's going to take up a lot of time so depending on how leveraged your time is already it may not be the most intelligent action to take instead there's some other tools that you can use so one is canva that's going to be a very quick and easy tool if you have canva pro again it's very powerful for what it is you can create ad creatives extremely easily and quickly and they have templates and they have assets that you can use and this can be extremely valuable so if you just go to canva.com you can sign up for a free account there's a lot you can do immediately like i say for free you can also have the pro account which will give you access to more stock images videos it will give you access to like background removal tools things like that and it's extremely powerful for what it is and it's very very cheap it's like 10 to 15 dollars per month for one account so again very very cost effective and it's going to save you a lot of time even though we have a full-time graphic designer occasionally we'll just go into canva and we'll create something because of the speed 
and the ability to just go ahead and do that straight away without needing to have any time delay. So it's, it's very, very powerful. The other methods are to use platforms like Fiverr and Upwork. So these are freelancer sites where you can actually connect with professional graphic designers and also more intermediate graphic designers who are potentially a lower cost. And you can then pay them on a freelance per project basis to create ad creatives for you. So again, based on their availability, based on their timeframes, this can be extremely powerful because you're gonna get someone who is doing this day in, day out. So they have a lot of skills typically, and they will be able to produce very high quality uh, graphics for your ads. So if you give them the right dimensions, you give them the right formats, you say, look, this is what I need. Go away and create this please and create five different variations they will typically be able to do that now obviously you can have someone who's going to do images you can have maybe a different person who's going to be doing your video editing again just depends on the price as to how viable this is and it also depends on the quality of work and again like i mentioned their time frames if they are very stacked with work and it's going to take them a week uh, perhaps you know depending on your ad campaigns and kind of how frequently you need new creatives maybe that's not going to be the best route to go down however if you can plan ahead and you can work with a freelancer who becomes a bit more part of your team that's going to again give you a lot of opportunity to leverage someone who's got a high set of skills for creating ad creative so both fiverr and upwork are going to be great platforms to get that done and they can be very very cost effective so a couple of other tools I just want to mention quickly. One is Rev.com. This is great for captions. So if you're filming video, and again, not every piece of video has to be super high quality professional. And I'm going to get into that in a second in terms of what we've seen work well and what we've seen not work well in different formats that you can use to kind of not spoil it. But ultimately, we've seen every piece of content, every type of content format work well. It depends on the product and it depends on the brand. So it's not like I'm going to tell you, you have to run short videos or you have to run carousel images. It's actually quite the opposite it depending on your company what you offer your brand what your messaging is different formats will work well so for some clients we leverage video basically exclusively like 99% of the content is video content because that's what works well for that client that's how we can communicate the messaging correctly for other clients we're using images and carousels primarily so it just depends on again what you're promoting what your business is there's no one golden type of content that is just the best thing ever in my opinion it really goes beyond that into what your content actually delivers in terms of the messaging that's far more important than the format in my opinion so rev is a great tool for getting captions done for videos they can do burned in captions they can also give you the caption files which you can then add into your premiere pro projects or other um, software that you're editing your videos on there's of course additional caption apps as well. So if you're filming content on your phone and you're just editing more on the go, there is again, caption um, applications that you can just download from the app store. that will do a lot of this for you. They're very good. Finally, I wanna get into the types of content that we've seen work and it kind of touched on what I just spoke about. There is no one type of content that I would recommend running if you're not getting the results that you want and you're running image ads, I wouldn't say, if you do video, you're gonna immediately get all of these purchases. It's not really like that, and it's not what I've seen work. Instead, I would recommend testing different types of content, different angles, different concepts, and different formats. However, like I say, I think it's more the way that you're communicating, and there's far greater things that are more important than just the format of the content. So just bear that in mind. It's kind of what you're saying, not how you're saying it typically. Now, in terms of content that I have seen work well, short videos, work extremely well um, you know, if you're running a, an ad campaign you've got a 10 minute video really how much of that are people going to consume probably only a very very small amount of it and this kind of ties into the structure of your ad creative so if you're doing video i'd recommend having the first literally few seconds like the first five to 15 seconds extremely engaging talking about your value proposition hooking people in you can open loops that you're going to later close so you can talk about you can kind of get their attention by saying certain things and then you can close those loops and give them the answers a little bit later on in the video but you need to get their attention straight away and if you do that very slowly and you're sort of just talking more generally or you're up or you're being very generic and not engaging in the first get 15 seconds people are not even going to get to the second 15 they're just going to scroll straight past your ad so it needs to hook them in you want to have captions on your videos things like that so short content short video content works well again if your video needs to be a little bit longer to portray your full message that's okay but just bear in mind a very small percentage of people are going to ever get all the way through to the end okay very very small percentage so you want to focus on the structure of that video having the first part as engaging as possible ugc content which stands for user generated content is going to be great all right so as well as having professionally shot videos which i do recommend i'd also recommend having some more casual user generated content so this can be where let's say someone gets your product they actually take out their iphone they're filming it and of course you can do this yourself as well as the brand owner or someone that works with the company you can actually film some content on your iphone or whatever and that can work extremely well it's more casual it's more social media style 
and it's not necessarily coming across as an ad. So people aren't gonna immediately sort of phase it out based on thinking, oh, this is just another ad. And it can work extremely well. We've seen it work with great success, essentially. Of course, images as well work very, very well. So product images, if you're doing dynamic product retargeting ads, you can have images of the products that have got more just plain backgrounds, which can work well. Of course, you can have more lifestyle shots as well if you're doing some front-end image ad creatives. Bunch of different options in terms of images, but yeah. That as a format, they work extremely well. Carousels, again, work extremely well. So you can have multiple products on show. You can create a bit more of a story with a carousel because they can swipe through, it's quite engaging. So they're the main sort of types of content that we're typically leveraging on Facebook. So I hope this video has been useful. Please drop any comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, and if you want to work with me and my agency, there's a link as well in the description where you can click that book a call with me and we can discuss handling your paid advertising for you directly. Thank you very much.